this is my cork shelf. Here we have the glow worm, which is like a funny car version of the Ford Capri. Then moving along, there's the Rover 2000. There's the Mini Marcos. Uh, there's the Gear L6.4 Oldsmobile Tornado. There's a recent taxi that was for the London Olympics. Behind it, we've got a Marcos 3 litre Porsche Carrera. The John Player Special, this was one of the most popular cars in the Corgi range. Then we have a Land Rover. There are lots of Land Rovers in Corgi range. There's a Chrysler behind the Land Rover and a Marcos Mantis. The Rover and the Mini Marcos had these golden jacks on the base. You could jack the car up on the golden jacks and then you could take the wheel off. This is the Marcos Mantis. I had one of these as a child. Unfortunately, I took it to school and I was playing a game of tag with a friend who had another car and my Marcos Mantis went down a drain. I was devastated at the time. I must have been eight or nine. Then we have a Mercedes C Treble 1, a Mercedes 190, a Morris Mean Marina, the Mini Rally car, here we've got Ford Capri and we've got Dean Hunt's Gene Hunt, sorry, Gene Hunt's Audi Quattro from Ashes to Ashes. Corgi had lots of TV tie-ins. They had James Bond cars, they had Batmobiles, and here Gene Hunt's Audi Quattro. Then we have another Land Rover Triumph. And you can just see at the end we've got a Citroen SL. So there you have it, there's my Corgis. Corgi has this big nostalgia buzz for me. Like Matchbox, these were the cars I grew up with. I'm an 